What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. Last time, we once again were developing our bonds and confidants as the days continue to tick down towards Medjet's cleanse. We're getting a decent amount of stuff done. We're getting different abilities for our confidants. We're getting different abilities, well, for our party members, too. So, it's still time well spent, even though other characters would beg to differ. In this episode, we are, well, continuing to go through our days as the time limit continues to tick down. However, Towards the end of last time, we did manage to reach rank 4 Guts. And now, after such a very long time, we can actually enter Untouchable and talk to EY about that paper bag that he gave us several months ago now. So let's go ahead and talk to him. <sighs> Makes sense to actually slow that down because we can actually utilize that. Well, I looked inside the bag. get a Chakiv 2. We can take a look at that when we, well, can actually take a look at it. Well, if I'm already in this deep, care to show me more? Enthusiast. At your age, you'd be surprised. Mm. Well, I guess you got the heart of an enthusiast. <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. Hmm? Hey. I can grant that wish of yours. But you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. Uh, hold up, I'm not sure I quite follow. <laughs> Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence. And as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu with good prices for a punk like you. What do you say? Not bad, huh? I'm not saying no, but what's your goal here? 
That's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Hmm? Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. This is too good of an opportunity to pass up. It's sketchy as all hell, but... Uh... Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? Alright, I'll do what I can. That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. Hmm. And I guess we have a deal. So, in exchange for helping him out, we'll be able to get some custom... Well, be able to customize our guns. I'll get into more detail on that shortly. It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Spill it! Become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the hanged man persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And with this, we've established a new confidant with the weapons dealer EY. That of the hanged man arcana. And one that we have had potential access to for a very long time, if we had the guts. So, what EOI's Confidant will allow us to do is that it will allow us to customize our guns. Now, gun customization works in the sense that using uh, certain weapons, you can give EY some, well, money to pay for it, and then he will grant various effects to your guns. So for example, um, you could add a burning effect to one of your guns. So that way you have a small chance to inflict a burn if you hit an enemy. All right. Typically speaking, I don't utilize the gun customization. The biggest reason why is that pretty much if not every single gun customization causes a drop in accuracy, which is something I hate. I hate, 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 hate drops in accuracy. So even though like there can be some potential good with these gun customizations, not only do I not really buy too many guns because I prioritize just knocking down enemies, but being able to accurately hit them to maximize my use of my guns. So if you're someone who frequently uses guns and goes through all your ammo, then this may be a bit more useful to you. But for me, gun customization just isn't something that I utilize. So, kind of similar to Yusuke's ability, it's a little bit wasted on someone like me. But it is there for you if you so desire. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Clean, run errands, there's plenty for you to do around here. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Uh, yeah, of course. Alright, that's enough for today. Go on, get out of here.
Ah. Damn it, who is it now? You skate. Again? Well, tempting as it is, we do have other plans. Then the day moves on to Friday. Hey. I know what I'm doing. So anyway, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, today, if we take a look at our text messages, we have something from Mishima. This is exactly why you want to check your texts. the site well. So this is actually very interesting, and I was kind of alluding to this before, but this is the actual flag in order to get a slew of different requests. So we don't exactly have a specific lead on this quest. However, we can partake in our part-time jobs in order to find out more information on things that have been happening to people. Some will, well, most of them deal with completely unrelated issues, and only one of the jobs will actually lead us to this specific quest. But even those other jobs lead to different quests that we can then go to Mementos. So, this is where it's actually important to utilize more of your part-time jobs. At the very least, more than we have, which has mostly just been doing it once and then promptly forgetting about them. So yay, we have a point of going to our jobs again. But that's not all that we have texts for. We are going to head on over to Shibuya and talk to Ryuji. Because today we are spending our time with him. Hey. And it's spending time not heading on into the palace. You think? We've got plenty of time, Ryuji. We've got over two weeks. We'll be fine. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. So today, we're spending time with him. Wanna get going? Ah, oh, this is 
is a perfect way to refill after some training. By the way, the track team's up and running again. Yamauchi got taken down pretty quick. You know Takeishi's mom is the PTA press, right? He told her everything. After that, she came storming in with the other parents and forbid the whole scouting plan. Oh, wish I could have seen the look on Yamauchi's face. <laughs> I mean, the school can't ignore the PTA. And as a result, the track team's back. Our old coach is filling in for now. Man, it serves that dick right. <laughs> what a great feeling. I think they might even go far in the meet. <laughs> well, I guess we can't lose either. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh crap, the ramen's gonna get soggy. Let's eat! Woo! <laughs> that was awesome. To tell the truth, I was scared of facing those guys straight up. I, I couldn't stand how much they hated me. It only just made me think of how stupid I was. Most of all, it made me remember how I lost my place with him. Hey, this ain't like me, but I managed to change because you were here helping me. I got you all wrapped up in this shit, but you stayed with me till the bitter end. You didn't abandon me. So, thanks, man. You're welcome, Ryuji. <laughs> it's funny, huh? This started out as us training for the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> How'd it end up like this? Strange things can happen, you know? Either way, it's my turn now. If anything comes up, you tell me. I'll help you with whatever you need. I'll be counting on you. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the chariot, granting thee infinite power. Thus we have now maxed out Ryuji Sakamoto's confidant of the chariot arcana. So our final reward for completing a party member's confidant is a second awakening. Just like in Persona 4, if you max out a confidant of a party member, their persona transforms into a more powerful form. All right. And so we will see it very promptly. But in addition, all right. We can now fuse Chiyu, the most powerful persona of the Chariot Arcana. Ryuji's persona, Captain Kid, has transformed into Satan Taisei! Alright, now I have that off my chest, let's do this! First up, the Phantom Thieves! I'll be counting on you, leader, and you can count on me too. You got it. Hey, now that we're all fueled up, wanna race to the station? And we can see that Ryuji's persona has gained quite a few things in terms of its resistances. It is now immune to electric attacks and resists 
fire, though it still has a weakness to wind. But we also get a new skill. Every uh, uh, advanced persona gets a very similar skill to this. It is an evade skill, which triples evasion against the weakness of that persona. So Ryuji has a very good chance of dodging wind attacks. So it's really good when uh, you get like caught in a bad situation and an opponent decides to use a wind skill on him. You're not guaranteed to dodge it, but you have a much greater chance of dodging. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of Adverse Resolve because it's not really that good of a skill. And now Ryuji has better evasion to his weakness. Aside from the only plan we've come up with so far. Now that we've maxed out a new Arcana, what exactly are we going to be doing this evening? Well, this evening? Ah, perfect. Mishima has another text message for us, though this one's a little bit different. isn't any sort of request, but rather an invitation to hang out with Mishima. And since he's situated in Shinjuku, saving money, even though it's very little yen. And I mean, it ends up for us going to Shibuya anyway. Well, whatever. We're spending our time with Mishima this evening. Um... almost real. No.
Well, props for taking the initiative, but don't do anything stupid, okay? The last thing we need is for something bad to happen to you. No, no. I get that, but just be careful, Mishima. targets <laughs> I admire your dedication Mishima just stay safe okay all right well as much as I'm worried for Mishima we do get a pretty decent ability, Mishima's Desperation. So now our party members will get an increase in their experience as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I've actually mentioned this or not, but it bears repeating anyway that backup party members, while they do gain experience, do not gain as much experience um, as compared to the party members in the main party. So if you kind of want to keep everyone a little bit balanced, then switching them out is a necessary thing that you should do. But at the very least with this skill, you won't need to worry about it as right. much. So, yay! Different. Actually... Just... It looked like you were being harassed by a bunch of assholes. See you later. 
Take care, Mishima. Yeesh, poor guy. Going to catch a break with Kamoshida? Can't catch a break with those bully assholes. Feel bad for him, but not much more we can do right now. Hey! Okay, so now that it is Saturday, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Well, today we are going to be heading somewhere a little bit different and someplace that we haven't been to for quite some time. We are going to head to the flower shop. might be wondering, why exactly are we spending time at the flower shop? Well, if you remember, we did get that text from Mishima saying that there was activity around Shibuya, and that we should investigate it by heading on over to different stores that we can potentially work at. This is a step in the direction for solving that dilemma. So just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna save real quick. I'll just add this. Now it shouldn't really matter, but I am going to be doing this just in case. Uh, so we are going to be working at the flower shop today. Well, actually, I increased my kindness. Ooh. Okay, I've been needing to catch up on a few things. So before I do that, it's going to be pricey, but I can at the very least catch up on that kindness that I messed up on by missing that plant feeding. So I'm going to head on over to Shinjuku real quick, get a fortune reading, and help it boost up my kindness just a bit more. I am spending a bit more money than I would really like to at this point, but this will allow me to help catch up. Plus, it allows me to show, like, all the different arcanas that Chihaya mentions. Now. So this time, it's kindness. Okay. Now, it also gives me a chance to mention something specific about the, uh, boost. So, uh, you notice that when we, uh, did that increase before with the drink, that it showed two notes as opposed to one. You won't always get different indications about that. You'll get that indication if you go from, uh, one... If you would normally just get a one point, then it would show the two. However, for two and three note activities, you don't see any sort of difference. They'll still show up as a two or three note activity. But, you do still get the boost. Uh, the notes just indicate roughly how many actual points that you get. It's not necessarily a one, two, three type of thing. So, the, uh, from what I researched, uh, what the boost does is that it'll give you a 50% boost in any sort of activity that you get rounded down. And a one note is always two points. A uh, two note is anywhere between three and... I think it's three and four, or maybe three to five. I don't remember exactly what it was. And then uh, three notes are obviously higher than that. I think it might be five, to five, seven, or ten. So it's always a good idea to get the to always do Chihaya's reading and then go and do the activities if you have the money don't go crazy about it because you know money is still important but just want to go into a bit more detail on how that mechanic works because I didn't quite realize the intricacies of it I just had a general idea let's work at the flower shop now because I definitely wanted to try to catch up on that kindness that I missed.
Next. Thank you. I'm counting on you. Large, brightly colored flowers. Very well. Okay. Okay, so what do we get to do with our activity here, since we haven't actually gone over that sort of thing, is that we will need to pick out flowers in order to create a bouquet. Now, we get a general description as to what these flowers are by just scrolling down here. Uh, it's enough for what we need for our purposes, but she did mention a flowerpedia. Which, if we study up on that, we'll be able to get a better benefit and a better understanding as to what we should pick. But, thankfully, I know exactly what it is that we're going to pick. So, the reason why I say before was because I wasn't sure if it was always the same. I'm pretty sure it's always the same for the first one. So anyway, uh, the first flower that we're going to pick is the Scarlet Rose. The next flower is the Gold Gerbera. And the last one is the Gecko Orchid. What do you want to do? And that should be good. Yeah. That's great! Thank you. Sweet! So, we almost made up for the amount of money that we spent for the fortune. Cool. You've worked hard. Me too, Hanasaki-san. Nice. Hmm. And we would have gotten this three points otherwise, since we managed to do a very good job. But with our boost that we got from Chihaya, that should put us, uh, maybe not exactly back where we're supposed to be, but right. it is a much better increase. We're much closer to where we should be with kindness. So, yay for catching up! Mm. Wanna head back? Alright then. So yeah, you do have to go through the basic tutorial section of a job first before you'll get a potential chance to learn some intel. Man, it's hot. Okay, well, with everything that's said and done, I believe now is about as good as time as any to call it a day here. A little bit sooner than usual, but not overly so. So I think we are good to go. Good to go to call it a day. So next time on Let's Play Persona 5. I, for some reason, wanted to say Let's Go Eevee. I am not sure why. We are going to continue to develop our bonds and confidants. It's not going to be that much longer before we head on into the palace. In fact, we may actually be able to begin heading on into the palace by the end of next time. If not, though, then we should be ready to go at the end. Uh, that is if everything goes well, which it should. 
So we'll continue to develop our bonds and confidants in the meanwhile, and we will then head on into the palace. So until next time, everyone, take care.